Before we start today's video, I just want to say a huge shout out to all of you for subscribing and viewing my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, hit that subscribe button down below because I am going to do a giveaway. Unless if I get 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, I know it's only going to be something very small, but I just want to say a huge shout out to all of you. And I really appreciate you all uh, watching and viewing my, my channel. So with that being said, let's continue today's video. Y'all are up for a special treat today. This is gonna be awesome. Can't wait for you guys to see this. This is a bike I had ever since 2002, the original owner. I have changed uh, so many things in the past uh, few years. Let's do a little checklist of uh, seeing what I have for the bicycle. Hear that uh, Chris King rear hub, joys of music. So I'll start off with the rear wheel. Obviously you heard the Chris King uh, buzz hub. This has been actually put together fairly recently, about a year ago. A friend of mine actually built it up for me and gave me a pretty sweet deal on it. Uh, obviously there's no disc brakes or anything like that. I'll talk about the brakes later. I uh, have Bontrager uh, Valiant uh, rims. These are actually ceramic rims, which are totally obsolete now. Uh, they are actually a very light wheel set uh, compared to what was actually on the bike at first. XTR rear derailleur that came stock with the bike. And then I also have a XT uh, front derailleur that came on the bike, which is pretty much uh, stock. The frame is actually made out of uh, true temper steel, uh, made in the USA, America. A Dean Titanium Bar seat post with a Physica saddle. The front is also a Bontrager variant uh, rim, placed onto a Ritchie front hub. Next I have the Fox F80 RLT fork, uh, which has 80 millimeter travel. Let's talk a little bit more of the, the cockpit here. Uh, these came stock on my Kona Hanzo. Uh, if you haven't seen my Kona Hanzo uh, bike check review, I'll have it uh, linked above. Actually cut these bars down uh, to make them a little bit more narrower, but everyone's like, oh, you should go with wider bars. So I actually popped these on my uh, Kona Explosive. Uh, just because I want to make it a little bit more modern. It's more functional uh, for these standards of uh, bicycles these days. Brakes, uh, front and back, I have uh, Avid single digit tie brakes, which are uh, pretty awesome brakes. Uh, they have really good modulation and it's time to save on lightweight. You know, I was actually racing this bike for quite a few years. Now I just have this bike more, more for fun. And this is have a single day of time. Hey Lone, you can't forget about the Chris King headset that's on there. Well, everyone, hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite classic hardtail is. And uh, also, if you want to see this thing in action, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Hey!